special meeting of the city council devolving into shouts and accusations. Chicago's longtime status as a sanctuary city for migrants sparking a firestorm of debate. A group of frustrated city council members failing in multiple bids to vote to put a referendum on the ballot come March. The lights going off in the midst of today's chaotic debate, an unimaginable ending to the day's frenetic back and forth, aldermen and women arguing about what constitutes a quorum. Motion to adjourn the proper way, is that with or without light? For the sanctuary city referendum vote to happen, there needs to be at least 26 council members present. The fractured body throughout the contentious day making multiple attempts to vote but coming up short. It's becoming very frustrating to get business done in the appropriate manner. I'm at loss for words, a lot of time being wasted. Dozens of aldermen arguing for a March referendum to allow citizens to vote on Chicago's decades old sanctuary city status. So let's get this on the ballot, let's see what people, how people feel about it. We have 20,000 migrants today. So what is the price tag on that now? And we can't get solid answers. That policy was set back in 1987. Things have changed dramatically. I don't think we ever envisioned 20,000 migrants being sent to Chicago in buses. But others are arguing that the debate is counterproductive. I don't think we want the city where people are kicking in doors of AR-47s, rounding up people that they think are illegal. People attacking our sanctuary city ordinance in this moment are engaging in demagoguery. And so we've had an opportunity to meet with uh, the chief of staff and the senior advisor of the president. In Washington, D.C. today, Mayor Brandon Johnson joining his counterparts from New York, Denver, and other big cities pleading for more federal funding to deal with the migrant crisis. Crisis. This um, financial dynamic has caused a tremendous burden on our local economy. The arguments on the sanctuary city issue are far from over. The aldermen are expected to take up the debate again on Tuesday. At City Hall, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian.